after my recovery day, the previous day in which I read on my Kindle for hours, I will link the video down below. It was time to actually be at the conference, which was my primary reason for traveling to Thailand. It was surprisingly easy to book a grab car on the morning of November 23. My hotel is very, very close to the university. It is actually maybe a five to 10 minute walk from the hotel to the university gate, but the building where the conference will be is some distance away from the gate inside the university. So I had to book a car for that. It is still very walkable but perhaps when there is more time and energy it is a very beautiful campus and I will share more as I go through this vlog series I promise I promise this is Mei Fa Luang University in Chiang Rai Thailand and I'm here for the fifth Asli ASEAN eco criticism conference this is the e4 building where the entire conference will be held registration is scheduled for 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. and I am right on time Registration is very quick and efficient. I just showed my passport as identification and they gave me this folder that had my receipt for the registration for the conference and the eco-cultural tour on the third day because that one is optional. This folder also has my certificate of participation and my ID badge. There was very strong Wi-Fi in the entire building and we were allowed to use that. This is an international conference and so there was also an instruction sheet on how to use the translation app but because the panels I attended were in English I did not need to use this. They also gave us freebies. This shoulder bag is so so cute it is very Thailand and here is the abstract book that contains the abstracts of every single person in the conference and their bios and contact details. We can use this book to network in case you want to collaborate on a new or ongoing research. This book is a treasure chest of people. Here is the page that contains my abstract for the conference. The paper I will be presenting is on the novel Tiempo Muerto by Caroline Howe. Below is my little bio. That last statement though might no longer be true. My final thesis defense is once again postponed. There is also this cute little notepad with a pen. Inside it just has blank cream colored pages and the pen is a ballpoint. And inside the bag there was also a pen that I did not notice. The conference started on time and I was fascinated from the very beginning. Everyone is so accomplished in their fields of research. These are academics with PhDs or currently working for their PhDs or currently trying to pick a university for their plans for their PhD. I feel like I am the runt of the entire conference because I don't even have a master's degree yet and my bachelor's degree is in economics, but I got accepted to this conference on the strength of my abstract alone so there's a lot of pressure for me to rise to the occasion. I need to prove to the conference committee that they did not make a mistake in accepting my abstract. And here I am just showing like five second video clips of the opening ceremony and the first lecture. At 10 o'clock we had a break for the morning refreshments and they had two kinds of food, the seasonal fruits and the pineapple pie. I gravitated towards the seasonal fruits because of the presentation. Just look at this. Doesn't this look so pretty? They also had Milo. I have mentioned Milo in one or two of my previous vlogs over the years I think. It's a chocolate malt mix that you just dissolve in hot water. Okay, so here is the schedule for the entire conference. This is how it's structured. The panel presentations will be held within the next two days, and the third day will be for the eco-cultural tour. There will be several panel sessions to be held simultaneously. They're called parallel panels, and I have encircled the persons that I know personally because naturally those are the panels I want to attend and support. And the great thing is they are placed together with people who wrote a related or similar paper. So if you're looking for people to collaborate with, this is actually really also a guide on where to meet who in person. Of course, I want to support my friends, but I love that I also get to watch them discuss their topics with other people that we are just meeting on this day. This is me. I'm scheduled for the second day of the conference at 3 p.m. At this point, I have actually not finalized the ending of my paper yet. I figured attending the different panels scheduled prior to mine will give me an insight on how to end my own paper. But I must admit it also placed me under even more pressure because everyone I have watched at this point was so phenomenal. <laughs> the level of method and academic rigor is just astounding.
The lady in red is Dr. Lily Rose Tope, a retired professor from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. The food is also great. I enjoyed it so much, I even forgot to film a footage showing the food for lunch before I ate it all. The vending machines here in the building are also next level. There is a button to tap for English instructions, so I was able to order a hot chocolate for myself. And the machine actually gives you change. Like this hot chocolate cost 35 baht, I put in 100 baht, and it gave me change in coins. And it also tells me how much longer I need to wait. It is so cool. This is the panel that included my friend Thomas Leonard Shaw. After that panel discussion, it was time for the afternoon refreshments and oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. I also opted for some tea. This is the jasmine oolong tea and it is so fragrant. I must get myself some of these. It is so calming. I even love the little trays that they have. It's shaped for the cup and the little plate for the food. It is so nice. It makes me so happy just looking at this. And yes, those are food and they are so pretty, but I managed to eat them all. I also attended the panel with Jason Tellias about sports, but I wasn't able to film a video. We had to slip out after his presentation because we also wanted to be in the panel of our friend Nicolo Vitug. And that was the last panel that I attended on the first day of the conference. It ended earlier than scheduled, so while waiting for the other panels to finish, I was able to walk around a little bit inside the E4 building. This campus is so beautiful. It has these wonderful mountain views. And this is the lobby where we have our breaks and where we usually converge for quick meetups before and after the conference. At 5 o'clock, we were scheduled to get on the tram that will take us to the museum where we will be having dinner that is hosted for us by the conference. And the conference committee put up a really nice spread. This is so wonderful and there's a lot. So I was honestly just so overwhelmed. But let me just walk you around showing everything that I also saw.
these are the food that will be served to us and everything has a label not only so that we will know the names of the food but also so that people with allergies can avoid what they cannot have I picked out everything that was unfamiliar to me and the chrysanthemum juice, which is a juice from a flower. While we were having our dinner, there was also a performance which I really appreciated. This venue was in a museum, like I said, and after dinner and after the performance, you were able to walk around inside for a bit. Let me walk you around.
at this portal we were debating whether to go through because it looked so ominous. But Thomas googled what's on the label and it said it brings good fortune. So we all quickly walked through. This one has toggle switches that you could turn on and off and that will light up the corresponding constellations that are installed on the ceiling right above it. It is very nice. After a little while, it was time to end the day. A van took us to the university gate and from there, it was just a short walk to my hotel. It was a wonderful day.